I'm Pi from Sunday Swap. Our team is obviously building our DEX, um, Decentralized Exchange. And as part of that, we have kind of found that we have to build a lot of tools, right? We're very early in the Cardano ecosystem. IOG can't be expected to do everything. And so, um, you know, there are some gaps that we're internally filling. Um, so for example, one of the things that we have built and open sourced, um, it's on our GitHub, is um, something called the Toolkit for Cardano. Um, it is basically a one-click AWS deployment for Cardano public or private testnets. That allows you to test your transactions entirely within your own network, and you can reset the network whenever you want. We have some like wallet management stuff. Um, so that's one thing that we've built and open sourced. Um, we have two more things that we would like to open source, since the, one of the things that I'm talking to IOG about here is what would it take to get that open source? Those two things are a tool called C-Sync, uh, you know, we may rename it to Sunday Sync uh, after discussions today. And that is basically a tool for developers to uh, read and react to state on the blockchain. And the second one is an integration test framework. So often developers will write unit tests that test the kind of microcosm of their contracts. But this integration test framework lets you describe entire scenarios of your protocol. Um, run them locally to make sure that they work against all of the constraints of the real blockchain, and then even submit them to a real blockchain. So for example, this is how we conducted our 1,000 transaction uh, load test on Alonzo Purple that um, led to our Scooper article. We are trying to build an ecosystem in which we can be profitable, not an ecosystem off which we profit. So if we're doing that with our own protocol, uh, the same like, is even more so true of these tools that we build. Um, the richer that we can make the Cardano ecosystem, the more opportunity there is for the kinds of software and the kinds of interconnectivity that we want to encourage to thrive, right? And um, uh, a kind of a common phrase that you'll hear internally at Sunday Swap is, a rising tide raises all boats. And um, the more protocols there are that we can interact with, the kind of richer the ecosystem and the more Cardano is able to deliver on its mission, but then also, you know, the more profitable that we become as a company. Yeah, so Sunday Swap is going really great. Um, about a month ago, we finished the core contracts, um, and those went into audit with runtime verification. That is a really intense and kind of excruciating process where they pick over the code with a fine tooth comb as a second set of eyes and an outside perspective to um, double check our work. Um, they found a number of issues, uh, which are the perfect kind of issues in the sense that they are very critical, so we're glad they found them, and very easy to fix, so we can fix them very quickly. Um, and you know, with an audit, if they're not finding anything, you gotta be a little concerned, right? Like, which rug are they not lifting up? And so we're just waiting for them to kind of finish that audit before we're ready to go live. Um, in the intervening time, we just finished our um, uh, it's not actually the first on-chain uh, governance event. I believe some stake pool operators chose kind of their board of directors with, a, with an on-chain vote. Um, and I think in a previous interview I had said that it was, so I wanted to correct the record on that. But it is definitely one of the biggest and earliest and highly publicized ones. So we had 1.16 billion ADA participate in that vote, um, which is phenomenal. It's spread over something like 25,000 people who voted. Um, or at least wallets. And so that was a, a huge roaring success in our mind. The next step will be our testnet. Um, and so we'll launch a testnet and we'll run that for a few weeks to make sure we feel confident in the protocol and then uh, mainnet. What we're expecting is kind of that high burst of um, participant activity. You know, we saw that with the vote. We gave people something to do with their ADA and, and they just exploded with excitement over it. And that's part of why we're here talking to IOG is to kind of ensure that that goes smoothly, um, let them know um, and provide feedback on how that has been going and how we anticipate it going so that if there are any changes that can be made um, to make that go just a little bit smoother, we can. Conversations have been fantastic. A lot of brilliant minds gathered here in London and, um, and just been super rewarding. Um, we have a lot of perspective on why certain decisions were made and what the likelihood of different solutions are. Um, so that has been super helpful. We got to show off some of the things that we built and, uh, and I think that has been um, eye-opening and exciting for IOG. Um, and even got to talk about some of the kind of long-term cooperation that we'd like to do with IOG around um, improving on-chain uh, ledger rules. 
uh, one of the big themes at IOG is governance and is exploring what does it mean to have this decentralized notion of governance. We hope that some of the stuff that we're doing provides those kinds of real world experimental data that can feed into that research. And so we're very excited about um, building that kind of collaboration over, over the long term.